happy National Selfie Day, everybody. It is, of course, the day where we celebrate, as our ancient ancestors did, by taking 400 pictures of ourselves, making different faces, and then only uploading the one that has the perfect lighting, the best smile, and the lack of spinach in our teeth. Or you could celebrate Selfie Day by complaining about it. Everyone loves a person who uses social media to talk about how selfies are the hallmark of society in ruin, probably because of something teenage girls did or something. Uh, and to be fair, there are some studies that suggest they might amp up our insecurities. I've talked in the past about how social media in general does that. And selfies, of course, are the currency of social media. And new research suggests that selfies might be driving people to get nose jobs that they don't really need, as if anybody really needs a nose job, but bear with me. Uh, this comes from the March edition of the Journal of the American Medical Association's Facial Plastic Surgery Journal, uh, in which researchers at Rutgers developed a mathematical model to show that taking a selfie makes your nose look bigger than it is. It's all about the distance your phone is from your face. When your phone is just 12 inches from your face, it focuses in on your nose and it makes it look about 30% bigger compared to a similar photo taken from about five feet away, uh, which is the general distance that portrait photographers use. The researchers explain it like this. If you're close to a building, it looks much bigger compared to the other buildings behind it. But if you stand several miles back, now that building will look like it's about the same size as the ones behind it. The same goes for your nose compared to the rest of your face. They point out that a poll from the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgeons found that 55% of surgeons said that their patients wanted to look better in selfies. Unfortunately, they don't dig deeper to find out how many of those patients said that, what treatments they got, or whether that was their primary motivating factor. In fact, according to another group, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, and yes, I assume that there is a long-running, bitter rivalry between the American Academy of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgeons and the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, the latter group says that uh, the number of nose jobs have actually dramatically decreased in the last 15 years by about 44%. Americans are spending more on plastic surgery, but they seem to mostly be increasing the number of minimally invasive procedures like Botox. So are selfies leading more people to get nose jobs? The hard numbers say probably not, but it is worth keeping in mind for your own self-esteem the next time you take a selfie. No, your nose is not that big. I mean, it might be big, but it's not, you know, that big. A special shout out uh, to the person who gave me the idea for today's video, Dr. Katie Mack, uh, who takes an excellent selfie. You can see more of her at Astro Katie on Twitter. Thanks, Katie.